Hello everybody, this is Daniel here. Today guys, we are going to create a virtual joystick controller for those who want to create mobile games. Uh, I know that already are a bunch of uh, plugins and head-ons and stuff like that to you to implement your in your um, game, but if you are interested to know how to do it, this is the video for you. So, uh, what I already had done was to create an uh, area 2D, I call it joystick. I added the uh, collision shape with the circle, uh, created a circle. I have here the texture. I had uh, created a sprite, sorry, and had implemented a texture uh, as a circle. And inside that uh, sprite, I added a second sprite uh, that I call it uh, a knob and added the circle as well, downscale it a little bit and we already have here our player as well it's a character body with a sprite and a collision shape because we are going to need to work with it uh, later now for our uh, joystick I already have here the script you guys already know how to create scripts you select here and create the script in my case it will remove it but oh well so on our joystick script, we are going to need to do a bunch of stuff. I, the main code will be uh, here. So first things first, we are going to uh, get some uh, variables for our big circle knob. Sorry, guess knob and uh, collision 2D. So it will be the on ready variable circle. Critical, I don't know, a circle, <laughs> and it will be big circle, or oh, a circle in this case, and a second, let me just remove the mouse here, and a second on ready variable knob that will be our uh, knob circle and knob. And we are going to need another variable that's going to be the max distance that our knob can. Um, work around, you know, because uh, uh, you have the the circle, the big one, that you can't uh, pass with our uh, little uh, circle, and uh, our collision 2D is working on that. I will just show it quickly uh, here. If I go, let me just, I will just change here to to make it quick. As you can see, uh, our collision as almost or around the same size as the big circle because this will be the distance that our small circle can uh, play around without going outside of the big one okay let's just remove this going to the script so on ready on ready variable and it will be the max uh, distance that we can uh, work so it will be our collision td dot shape and since we are going to this is a circle we are going to work with the come on man radius by the way you can check your collision radius uh, this is going to be like this if you press it you can check your, your radius okay so we are going to work uh, with this uh, later and a variable to verify if we are touching the knob or not so variable is knob touched, touched man <laughs> and it will be false okay now here on our process because we here we don't need the ready and ready and stuff like that we just need our uh, process and by the way we are not going to use delta so to 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 not have the uh, warning, we have need to add the underscore before the delta to doesn't giving any warnings. Okay, so um, in fact, it's not on the process that we are going to work. We are going to work on another thing that we need to uh, check. It's a function called uh, input and it will be input with the parameter of the event because here we are going to validate if we are 
uh, touching the, the knob or not and we are going to check the distance uh, the global distance of the big circle on our knob uh, so let's do it so if event it will be is uh, event uh, sorry input event screen touch we are going to create a variable called distance that will be the event dot uh, position dot distance to and here we are going to pass our circle dot global position okay and we are going to make sure that we are going to create a condition to check if we are touching the knob or not okay so it will be if is knob touched in this case is it will be negative so you can use the exclamation mark or saying the word not okay i i i'm get used to work with the exclamation mark so if we are not touching the screen we are going to verify if our distance it's lower than the max distance and uh, we'll say that is our knob it will be true because we are touching it and if not we are going to add the position of our knob in the default one that will be the zero zero vector two it's zero zero because when we worked on the 2d we maintain it on the zero zero position so by default on itself it will be zero zero okay um okay and we are going to say that is our knob touched equal false and for the input that's it and now let's start working on our process okay so for our process we are going to validate if our knob is being touched i know i'm saying touched a lot uh, and the knob dot global position will be since uh, I, I forgot one thing uh, here on project project settings we need to go to input devices and need to enable the emulate touch from mouse okay because uh, at least here we are working on the computer and we need to emulate your mouse key uh, press as uh, <coughs> as a finger touching the screen okay so and for that we need to validate where is our mouse or our finger touching on the screen so and for that to do that it's get global mouse position okay and after doing this we need to limit our uh, knob to the um, the area of our uh, circle or in our case the uh, collision shape 2d i know that uh, in versions below uh, 4 uh, you have to work with a function called clamped uh, and here on godot 4 uh, and above you will work with uh, the one called limit length okay so for this we are going to say that our knob dot position come on man position which will be equals to circle dot position plus and here it's the thingy it will be the knob position position minus circle dot position I mean <laughs> dot limit length and here inside the limit length it's equal uh, in the clamped one uh, it's max distance uh, for those who are working on go dot below four 
the only change here in the code will be here instead of limit uh, length length it will be uh, clamped okay it will be like this if I'm not wrong clamped <coughs> sorry guys uh, so uh, for our process everything is done now we we are going to create a function to get the position of our joystick and we are going to call that function later on our player. Why? Because we don't need to create a bunch of code on our player to get the values uh, of our uh, joystick position. Okay, we just need to, to work with this uh, function. I'm going to call it get uh, joystick, joystick position okay not nine and here we are going to create a variable called joystick and we are going to say that is a vector 2 with 0 0 by default and now we are going to get the x and y positions for our joystick and to do that it will be joystick dot x equals to knob dot position divided by the max distance okay distance i know you don't like that this okay max distance and the same for the uh, sorry no position dot x and the same here joystick dot y equals to knob dot position dot y divided by max distance okay and now we are going to return our joystick Come on, <laughs> return our joystick. Okay, so now on our player, we don't have nothing here, but on our player, I think it's the shortest code I ever have written for a character. So here on our player, as I mentioned, we have a sprite and a collision just because. Uh, here we are going to add the speed var speed uh, I will say it like 200 uh, and here we are going to call the f the process function process since we are not going to work with Delta you already know underscore here to not give you any warnings and here we are going to work with velocity uh, by the way if you guys are working with rigid body if I'm not wrong it will be linear dot linear velocity not velocity okay and I know that's a little bit different than the character body. So here we are going to call our, we are not to call nothing because I forgot to implement one thing. Uh, on our player, we need to implement a canvas layer. Okay, canvas uh, layer. And then we going to gr add our joystick here. Okay, canvas layer, uh, where is it? This one. And we're going to add our joystick here to be able to work. Okay, let me just grab here the choice. Not you. Come on, man. Oh, because this is grouped. Uh, I had to ungroup. We'll just edit here. Now I can group again. You go, can go here. Okay. Now everything is prepared to, to work. As I was saying before, all that. Uh, we are going to work with velocity so our velocity it will be equals to ui slash uh, joystick dot and our get joystick position and we need to multiply by speed okay let me just check uh, okay, it's this. And we need, since we are working with the character, we need to move and slide. Okay. And let's see if it's working. What is our bet? Working or not? I think it's working at first. Just doing a quick check. Yeah, I think it's everything working. I haven't forgot nothing, so. Yeah, we have a error because just take it with. Okay, let me just quickly check this. 
So, UI. Come on, man. UI slash stick. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Just stick. Why, man? Why? <laughs> okay, let me just check again. What I forgot here. Ah. My. So simple to fix. Okay, <laughs> after this small issue, uh, let's see if it is working or not. So, no, why? Because we forgot something. Let me just check here quickly. So, we have our now position, it will be equal to circle posi position plus now position minus circle position by limit length and there's a misspelling there okay i think that's <laughs> the third the, the third time is a charm so and after those little issues nothing fancy so as you guys can see i press the our knob and now I'm working with I know this it has a little bit of a difference here but I'm not worried about it uh, as you can see it's working perfectly fine it's moving for what I want it to move down up front, left right and diagonally you can make 100 and 360 uh, movements with it so and that's it for the video guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one uh if you have any other ideas for some future videos i'm open to it um if you have any doubts uh, leave the comment below leave a comment below i will try to check and uh answer as possible um and you already know what to do subscribe hit the like button uh, hit the bell sign for new videos uh, and by the way I already have a discord you can join and we can talk there we can uh, talk about the code heart everything you want to talk and even chit chat whatever um, and that's it for today guys hope you guys like it and see you next time so bye bye